I mostly just want to hear y'all talk, to be honest. I want to, I want to kind of get some um, interesting Thank stories you. and stuff. And I don't have an agenda or any mm. sort of like thing I'm trying to answer. I just like hearing, you know, fun stuff. I was young when I was married mm. at 17. And he was born nine months later, probably. I can't remember. I'm 83. <laughs> anyway, we were in church almost every night somewhere. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I would sit on the front row with him. And I was paying attention to the front. And here you come. He crawled back under the pews, cleared to the back, and ran down the aisle. Well, he got for that. And uh, if he talked, you know, when he shouldn't, he got for that. And it counted for everything. And then we had Eric. And Steve always said, Eric got to do everything and he didn't get smacked for nothing. <laughs> he said he got to play ball. He said, I always wanted to play ball. Did I get to? No. Well, we lived too far away from school. He couldn't get there to practice and we couldn't take him to practice. It was too far. And then here come Eric. I was more grown up. I wasn't 17 anymore, mm -hmm. so I was... Because Eric was eight years later? Yeah. 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 So I left Eric do everything that he wanted to do mm -hmm. and didn't get to. And so we attribute that to why Eric was so bad <laughs> <laughs> and Steve was so good. <laughs> what was your childhood like? Like when, when you were growing up, um, was your... How was your relationship with your parents? My dad died when I was three. Okay. And I found the body. Oh. And um, I have two brothers. I had two brothers and two sisters. And they were already gone from the household mm -hmm. when I was born. So. Okay. So you, you grew up I grew up alone. Like I was. Yeah. And it was just you and your mom. Just me and my mom. Um, Did I, you? I lived to. We didn't have a car. Mm -hmm. So we had to walk to town to get groceries and things like that. Um, and then when I went to school, I had to walk to the school, the old school. And um, there I caught a bus from there to high school. And it was like that the whole time I was in school. Or teachers, they would come by and pick me up and take me to school. Mm -hmm. um, then I met my husband, uh, and my mother didn't want me to marry him. She hid the license till the day of the wedding because he was 11 years older than me. Mm -hmm. And um, he used to say, he had been in Korea and, mm -hmm. and home again throughout that war, and uh, he said, if anybody would have told me that when I come home, I would have married a young girl in pigtails, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have never believed it. But he said, here we are. Anyway, she she got to like Wes. She, I mean, he wasn't a child, you mm -hmm. know. He was kind of marrying a child, but he wasn't a child. Mm -hmm. And I guess I looked at him kind of like my father because he used to say, put a scarf on in the winter. Where's your scarf? You've got to have boots, you know, and these kind of things. And I said, if I don't want to marry my, my father, I would have married my father. You know, don't. <laughs> don't don't tell me what to do. Uh, and we laughed about it all the time we were together. But he, he kind of bossed me, and I kind of <laughs> let him. Uh, but he knew he wasn't the boss. <laughs> yeah. And then Steve, yeah. I was hard on him as he came up. But he was such a good kid. He, he never went anywhere. He never done anything. Don't you realize that that's why you were so good? I guess. <laughs> Go chalk it up. <laughs> it is. It is why. I'm sure. Um, so you were in Friendsville when you were young. Yes. When did you move to Mount Storm? When you got married? Oh uh, no. We when we first got married, we went to Ohio. Uh, my husband was a minister, and um, he had made arrangements to have a a service out there. We call it a revival, I guess. Um, and we were there. For I don't know. They only wanted us for like several days, but when they heard Wes and saw us, they just wouldn't let us go. You know, we were there for weeks and weeks. And um, 
Uh, I remember when we were there, uh, we were poor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't have a lot of clothes. We couldn't, didn't have money to buy clothes. And, and uh, my mom made almost, I sound like that song with Dolly Parton, Mom, the coat of many colors. <laughs> But anyway, my mom made the things for me, and that's what I had when we first got married. And Wes wasn't overly, he was poor too. And uh, this church had a, they called it a pounding. And um, they brought things, uh, food mm -hmm. and uh, clothes and uh, shoes and a Bible for Wes. And uh, I remember that there was a a little card in in an envelope and it said uh, brother george take this to it was such and such an, a nice shoe store mm -hmm. that we could only afford to look in the window <laughs> and said get yourself a pair of shoes and i said oh i guess when i was down praying they could see the bottom of my shoes had holes in them <laughs> <laughs> but anyway we went and he he got the shoes and uh, uh i've been blessed I mm -hmm. have been blessed all my life. I had two, a wonderful husband and two wonderful sons. And what else can you say? God's blessed me. Um, I know that you said you, you grew up basically just with your mom because your siblings were all grown they, up. Yeah. When, at, at some point in your life, did you feel like you got a lot closer to them? Or did you always feel kind of distant because of the age difference? No, I think I always felt close to them. My two brothers, when okay. they left high school, they went into the service. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, my, my older sister got married right away when she got out of high school and moved away. And uh, the sister close to me got a job with the government in Washington. Mm -hmm. and, um, but I always felt close to them, and they, they kind of took care of me. Yeah. I mean, they sent me things, uh, and um, my sister Betty, she, we, we remained close friends until she died. Mm -hmm. um, no, I think I always felt closer to them. Okay. Around the holidays, was there anything special that you did around the holidays when you were a kid? Like, what, what do you remember from that time, like uh, around Christmas time? I remember we never had a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Uh, because back then you had to go and cut it down. Yeah. And it was only my mom and, you know, I guess my my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And um, my mom would go out and get a thorn bush. And and we would put um, gum bops, uh, drops mm -hmm. on that tree. It, you know, didn't take any electricity. <laughs> I remember when we got electricity in the house. But, um, How old were you when you got electricity? Oh... Uh, I don't know, I must have been about 12. Okay. Maybe. But uh, that was a big thing for me, was to put the gumdrops on a tree. Mm -hmm. And we would make cookies and candy, everything like that. We had to pick, get the uh, the nuts. You know, we gathered the hickory nuts and we gathered the, the walnuts. And the walnuts, oh, if you've never done it, it's really messy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you let them lay out and then you take the hull off and underneath that hull it's like tar mm -hmm. and you're you have it on your hands and your clothes and everywhere <laughs> but anyway it, it, everything by Christmas time was ready for the ready for the uh, cookies and the candy that's what was a big thing and then when my sisters and all left home and got married when they could come back for Christmas they would all bring presents I mean I got so many things that I guess I missed, you know, when I was little. And that's also what you meant by your siblings kind of taking care of yes. you, too. You know? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, I know when we had the prom and I was in high school, I was invited to the prom. And I thought, we didn't have money to buy me a dress. Mm -hmm. And um, my sister, the, the one, second one that had moved away, she bought me a dress. Beautiful. And it, it was white. Uh, and it had it went up like this, and everywhere there was a catch, there was a red rose. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It was beautiful, and I looked so good. Mm -hmm. Sound, uh, I sound like that other, you know, whatever that fancy was her name. <laughs> yeah, I might have been plain, born just plain white trash, but fancy was my name. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they took care of me. Yeah. Was was there any um, anything you remember getting for any? like Christmas or your birthday, any like particular gift that stands out that you remember that was really special to you? My sister, the one that got me the, the dress, mm -hmm. uh, she uh, would, uh, she was working in Washington at the time for the government. Mm -hmm. And uh, she would bring me uh, one doll I remember looking in the window at for a long time, and I, I don't remember how much it was, but no way we could afford that doll. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I got that doll for Christmas, <laughs> and it was, um, oh, I don't even know what the material was that it was made out of, but I can still see his face. that blue eyes and red lips, and, um, oh, it's gorgeous. I can <laughs> still remember that. And I don't know how, she must have asked Mom, you know, what did I want for Christmas? Because she got me that that little doll. And it was so beautiful. I remember that. <laughs> um, Do you remember your grandparents? No, not at all. Uh, they were both gone before I was born. Okay. Um, they were very wealthy. And we were very poor. The McCulloughs or the friends? The McCulloughs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I never knew them at all. Mm -hmm. I never knew my dad because I was three when he yeah. passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, but my sister, the one that gave me everything, she loved him so much. And she he drank. He was an alcoholic. And she said, um, when, when he wasn't drinking, he was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um but I don't remember anything. I remember one thing about him. I, maybe I should say that. Inside one room of our house, there was marks on the door, cut in deep. And I said to my mom, well, I guess maybe I was a little older. I said, where did those marks come from? Mm -hmm. And she said, when your daddy drank, I came in here and locked the door. And she said, I, we had coal stoves. Mm -hmm. So she had this poker that she poked the, the stove with mm -hmm. and she took a with her and it took me I don't know if the other kids she would have taken or they were older anyway she said that's where I told your dad if you try to get in here I'll kill you mm -hmm. with this poker and she beat the he tried to get in mm -hmm. and she beat the door with that poker and it left marks deep marks in the door, and that's the only thing I can remember about my dad. Yeah. And um, but my sister said she just loved dad. Dad was he drank, but when he wasn't drinking, he was wonderful. But I never got to see that side. Yeah. Um, so but, when so you got married, mm -hmm. and then you had dad not terribly long after. Yeah. How did your life change? Because you went through a lot of changes very quickly from marrying, yeah. marrying Wes and then having dad. Yeah. What was that, that year like? Like getting married and then, and then having, having dad. Like how did your life change um, well, in, in that period? I don't really know. You grow up fast, I guess, yeah. mentally. Mm -hmm. um, we lived with my mom after I had Steve for, oh, I don't know, six months or something. Uh, Wes was building a house, and it wasn't finished, so while he was working on the house, and he drove school bus for $3 a day is what he made. Okay. And um, then he finally got the basement of the house finished, and uh, I took Steve, and we moved into the basement of the house. Anyway, then we eventually, I don't know if it was the same year or not, built the top on the house, and... Um, well, I was my own boss, or I thought I was my own boss, you know. Mm -hmm. Wes started saying, put your shoes on, put your boots on. Um, 
I canned everything we ate because his mother canned and so did my mom. And uh, it's just a way of life. Mm-hmm. And uh, had your own garden. We had our own garden, yes. Uh, and we raised a cow one year mm-hmm. and then had it butchered. So we had, you know, steak and chop, or not chops, that's not. When, when, yeah, we didn't have a pig. When dad recalls his childhood to me, um, he talks about growing up on the farm. Yeah. And I've always wondered kind of what that experience was like, right? Because that can mean so many different things to so many different yeah. people depending on the, the size. So to hear mm-hmm. you used to talk about having a cow and that sort of thing yeah. puts it a little more into perspective. Um, we had chickens one time, you remember? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Miss Sister Wood gave them to Pigs. us. <laughs> yeah. My husband said that he dreamed that this woman came into his house with a suitcase and she set it down. Mm-hmm. And that was me. He said, the first time I saw you, I knew you were the woman with the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, that, you know, that was, a, mm. that was what clinched it mm. for him. Mm. Yeah, actually, um, how did you and Wes meet? Like, what was the... In church. Okay. Mm. I met in church. Um, were you, had you both been going to the same church no. for a while? No, I had never seen him before. So he showed up just... Yeah. Okay, so it was a church that you had been attending for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And he just showed up He just day. showed up, and and he, he knew I, because of the suitcase, uh, but I didn't know anything. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, and he was older. Was it shortly after, like, he got to the church for the first time? Did he start talking to you pretty immediately? Yeah. Okay. Yes, he did. We, I, I'm trying to think when that was that we first met but I can't remember, but not very long, Mm -hmm. a few months maybe. And uh, at Christmas then, he gave me an engagement ring and we were married in June. So it was very... (laughs) Yeah, so it was bad. So you got engaged when you were 17? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the Christmas Eve And none of my family liked it, because, but they were just looking at the age difference. Mm-hmm. They said, he is too old for you. You don't know mm-hmm. your own mind. You're a child. Mm-hmm. And, um, but I did. And yeah. we lived together forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many, how many years were you together? Oh, uh, I should know that. <laughs> uh, we were married in, uh. I was 57 or 58. Well, and, um, I'm 64, so. Okay. Well, your dad died in? 2009? Eight. Eight. 2008. Well, we were together all that time. From 58 to 78. For, for, for 50, from 58 to 2008. Yeah. 50 years. Yeah. Is that how long that was? 50 years? 50 years. 50 years. You have to figure it out when you don't have any mind. Um, yeah. A little late for it, but hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Um, I sincerely hope you enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It, it, it meant a lot to me, um, to just do some chatting with my grandma and to get some, you know, stories from my grandma. And then also my dad, too. Um, one of my long-term goals, which might be more, might, might become more of a short-term goal, too, um, is to, to do that sort of thing, to, to get some fun stories from my parents. And I, I absolutely wanted to take advantage of the fact that my grandmother was in town um, so my grandma, uh, was, was visiting along with, uh, a little of my extended family, my, my aunt, and my uncle, and, and one of my cousins. And, um, you know, we, we got a chance to hang out with them, uh, a, a little bit tonight. We had dinner with them. And then my, my grandmother is the one I, I, I got to spend most of the, the day with. And we, we hung out at the house, but, um, getting a chance to just ask questions and, and more importantly, uh, get some things on, on video. I mean, that really, that really made my day. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And I think the thing that, that makes me so happy 
is that clearly my grandmother enjoyed it and clearly my dad enjoyed it because uh, when we started, I, I told them what I wanted to do. Um, my, my grandma and my dad both were like, oh, you know, I don't think we're going to be able to remember anything. But once you start talking, there's so much stuff that just, you know, comes out. And in the short time that we, that we were talking, I was talking with them, they recalled things that they haven't talked about in forever. They recalled things that the other one of them had not heard. Like, that's incredible. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's a really good feeling, and it, it certainly makes me want to do more of this sort of thing. I, I shot all of that with the, with the phone. I would have taken the, uh, the FX3 and, and done it a little bit better, but we're still trying to bring stuff back from my parents' house, so taking a suitcase full of stuff there doesn't make a whole lot of sense when we have to bring stuff back. We need that car space. But I really, I really enjoyed that. Um, I haven't seen my grandmother in a while. And I'm not entirely sure when I'll see her uh, or some of my extended family again, but I, I sincerely hope that they'll choose to come back in the not too distant future. And I will certainly easily make another trip down to Myrtle Beach to, to see them and hang out with them and then hopefully get some more stories. Yeah. And, and in the interim, I, I do want to do that more with my, with my parents. I just think that's, um, I mean, for one, I, I think it's a, I think it's genuinely nice for all parties uh, to learn more about each other and then for you know for archival purposes for 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 having that on video is is just I don't know it's it I think invaluable priceless is is how I would describe it anyway that's it for today we're now back home. It is late. We arrived right at at midnight, so we had a long day. And uh, I so got. Happy to see you. Yeah. We walked in, and he's like, "Oh, good, you're here. I can have wet food now." We obviously brought another carload of stuff home, but there's there's still a little bit more to get. But it's coming along. Okay. Ending it here. Thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you enjoyed the 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 video and uh let's meet back tomorrow shall we